Um, Prime is officially here with Blue J2484, and we're here today to talk about the five best hand cannons to use in PvP and PvE. These hand um, cannons the are ordered, one. in our opinion, as well as their stats. So the first one I would like to talk about is the Whale. The Whale does really good damage exactly like the Palindrome and the Aeos Luna would. Mine has Firefly. I particularly like using this one in PvE because it's kind of like a future war cult version of fate Ringer. and this gun would be really good in pvp if they have like a decent amount of range on it it kind of has like a hawkman type of range um the reason we put this gun at number five on our list is because it is still a good gun to use in pvp although it is not the best it um only comes with seven bullets if you get an extended mag on it you can get eight bullets and I would, I would say from 1 to 10, in PvE, this would be a 9. And in PvP, this would be a 7. And I agree with those uh, ratings. Next one, the Hawkman. At number 4, we have the Hawkman. This is a very powerful gun for PvE and sometimes in PvP, but more so in PvP. This gun has a pretty low rate of fire with a high impact and moderate range stability and reload. At its base mag, it has 11 size. This gun has luck in the chamber as well as holding aces. This means that three of its bullets do a lot more damage than its base bullets. This means that if you get both of those bullets to proc at the same time, you will get a two shot to the head, and if you don't, it's a three shot. Um, the last word is a really good weapon, even though it suffered from many nerfs. Um, I would still, I would rate this in PvP an 8 out of 10, and in PvE a 5 out of 10. Kyle, your ratings? I agree with those ratings for the fact that in PvE, its recoil is way too high to use. And it's overall, as you saw from that kill, it's a pretty stable gun. It doesn't have much recoil if you know how to control it. I was not holding on to my stick at all on that kill, I just let it use its recoil. And as you saw, it was not that much recoil whatsoever. Um, here, for number three is the last word. Now this has been my number one most favorite hand cannon since year one. Mostly because it's a cowboy style hand cannon. Um, it's, one, it's in the fast firing rate archetype. And when you pull um, it out, perks. it has a custom animation. Right. And some of the perks that I use would be hip fire, perfect balance, and then the last perk, last word. Um, the recoil, it's not even that bad, actually. It's just the range. If you had really good range in this, this gun would be able to map anyone. For example, Kyle. Here, stand right there. See, look at the range. Kyle, stand right there. See? I remember back Out in the Out of all of those shots, he only missed a few. Yes, it's range. Yeah. It does damage its actual attack damage. It does lower it a small bit. But if you are accurate with it, you will be able to pull off a kill at a pretty long range. Exactly. So, I would rate this weapon and PvP. 9.5 out of 10 and PvE a 6.5 Kyle your ratings In PvP I would rate the weapon about a 7.5 and in PvE about a 5 Next weapon would be the palindrome This is a very powerful weapon and if you got it at the right time from the crucible vendor you would have gotten a god roll a, a, An okay fire rate for a hand cannon with this high of an impact its range is pretty high, stability is moderate, and reloads a little bit lower. You have a magazine size of 9, as well as mulligan or spray and play, rifled barrel or casket mag, and range finder. This is the exact role that you could have bought from the Crucible vendor. For example, the god role that I have is True Sight, Icarus, Rifle Barrel, and Range Finder. It is a really good roll. You are able to literally hit people in midair. Also, this gun does a lot of damage at a range as well as up close. It's a very quick killing gun, as you saw. Yes, it is. Okay. 
And then last weapon would Moving be... on to the very number one spot. Our choice of the yep. best hand cannon in Crucible is... The AS Luna. This gun is dropped this... from the end of Crucible matches and is basically a baby Hawkmoon. This gun is used pretty much if you would like to use the Hawkmoon, but with different roles and have another exotic equipped at the same time. Mine has Rifle Barrel, Luck in the Chamber, Underdog, and Sure Shot. See if I'm able to get the good two tap off. Yes, Kyle, stay over there. Now, as this you can gun see, can either two tap need... or three tap. Exactly. Literally like the Hawkman. And if now, anything, moving on to our better. honorable mention. This gun can the be favorite. used in PvE or PvP and is really good in both. This gun is the Fate Bringer. This the gun holds a special place in both of our hearts as it is one of our favorite hand cannons in the game. In Crucible, I hope you guys like. Go down, go down. In Crucible, I'm gonna go down. this gun can kill pretty quickly if you have the right amount of accuracy that you need to kill. Its Firefly ability will also help you in Crucible, but it did not make it onto this list because it's better in PvE. So in conclusion, I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want more Destiny weapon reviews before Destiny 2 comes out. Have a wonderful day. Thank you all for watching.